Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Matt. And we are Team B&H that shot, produced, and edited this series with Jared Gionis. So this series is a continuation of an initiative that we're taking on for the BNH YouTube channel in doing multiple part educational video series. For this one, we decided to do one with the best person to talk to when it comes to portrait photography. So we decided to spend a couple days with him in his studio in Vegas and get this done. Jerry Jonas is a Nikon ambassador. So for this shoot, we ended up using a bunch of Nikon gear. So for this video, we're gonna be talking about that experience using the Nikon gear one of my first times using Nikon systems, especially the new mirrorless one. I've definitely used DSLRs in the past. was very excited, but a little weary. My first camera was a D3200, so coming back, and that's not a mirrorless, so yeah. coming back to a Nikon camera system was really a whole nother experience, but I found their menu system easy to navigate coming from different menus. It's always difficult kind of going into a new location. You don't know exactly what to expect using a system that you've never used in recent times at least. And also traveling from New York all the way to Vegas and you're limited in what gear you could bring. Because I know who Jerry Giannis is, I knew that he had a lot of the stuff that we would need. He has his own lights, he has his ice lights that we used in studio. Definitely check out the gear episode with Jerry. Just He tours his studio, shows you all of his gear, and I have to tell you, he has literally everything that a photographer. <laughs> yeah, he has more than I expected. <laughs> yeah. So, really awesome studio. Yeah. When I got the camera at first, definitely even before getting to Vegas, I definitely played around with it a little bit because obviously you want to be prepared, especially with somebody like Jerry, who you know is always on his game. So I definitely wanted to make sure I was on mine. The second I took it out of my bag at Jerry's studio in that first shot that we decided to do with him at the chair for the first episode, that was really my first time truly using this camera. And I was definitely so impressed on how everything looked, had like a warm tone and that's kind of my preference anyway. I really loved the way it looked and with his walls and the depth of field with the 24 to 70 that I was using looked really yeah. great. I ultimately ended up switching to the 24 to 70 for most of the shoot. And the reason being was it just gives you the versatility when you're shooting on a gimbal, you don't want to have to change lenses every time because you're going to have to rebalance it every time and it's just a slight adjustment if you're just zooming in with the 24 to 70. Right. So that 24 to 70 was just tack sharp. Yeah. Going into day two, after being with Jerry for a whole day and realizing one, how fast he is, to how much he does move and likes to move around, grab like, you know, a scrim or grab like another yeah. tripod and, you know, his monitor. I realized I needed to ditch the tri my tripod. The camera really did handle the stabilization great. I did have the 24 to 70 on hand. You know, it wasn't too heavy where I was, you know, like kind of shaking yeah. or anything. <laughs> it definitely was great and I was able to kind of, you know, get my end done. The touch screen was definitely pretty easy to use in terms of just the auto eye focus. Right, yeah. I was able to just kind of switch back and forth, especially when you have kind of the model. I was doing a lot of switching back and forth from the model to Jerry. Mm -hmm. At times that just made sense just kind of for the story. Like sometimes I would just have to just touch on the model's face and it would immediately grab her eye. And then when I wanted to go back to Jerry, I would just kind of do the same. Having easy access to all of the functions while still being on the gimbal is something that is absolutely necessary on running gun shoots. Mm -hmm. So I was really appreciative of that, of the camera having that. I was able to put on auto ISO mm -hmm. for the time when we were kind of switching between outside the garage and inside. Right. So I was able to adjust the exposure automatically without me having to like reach right. you know, around to the gimbal. Mm -hmm. So having easy access to the touchscreen and all the custom buttons mm -hmm. with the gimbal still connected to the camera, mm -hmm. just chef's kiss. Yeah. <laughs> So the way we like work together and the way we operate, we definitely kind of have like a one and two situation where we also trade off between like A roll and B roll. It just kind of goes with whoever happens to be in the spot that we are. Matt and I were kind of switching off like who was kind of on Jerry the whole time and who was maybe doing B roll or close ups. By day two, we were better able to predict Jerry and mm -hmm. you know, we gotten six hours with him the day before. So I was able to better predict his movements mm -hmm. with the gimbal, was able to better predict exposure if he right. was running out of his garage right. to the outside or back in sprinting up his <laughs> ladder to the second pallet yeah. in his studio at one point and the other time he's like across the room 
So one of the first things that I noticed in post-production while working on this video was just how rich the color was. I was just like blown away, yeah. the 10-bit video, 4K, and just the color was amazing. Because we are kind of doing so much with these series and it's a small crew, so we have yeah. to do so much of things that maybe bigger crews kind of individually handle. Um, for YouTube, you know, you need to have a thumbnail. So for me, it was easy to kind of go back and forth between photo and video to be able to get some action shots of Jerry for like in having in mind a lot of the thumbnails that we need for these videos. It was like really quick that I can take a photo, go back to the video, because again, Jerry's so fast. Like I need the shot on the photo, but then I need to get right back into getting a slow-mo because like what he's doing with his hands is great. So that was definitely kind of, it's such a simple little thing, but sometimes you need those simple things to really just work. <laughs> We now both have the best jobs here at BNH, mostly because we are so lucky to be able to meet so many different types of creators and photographers and videographers and you know everything under the sun. And every time we do these shoots, I'm always learning something new, just about you know maybe it's a lighting tip or maybe it's a photo tip or maybe it's video or just kind of like the way to run a business. Um, these people have you know so much knowledge, and I feel so grateful being able to meet new photographers and kind of see how they operate and see what works and what doesn't and you know what I would love to use in my own photography or my own videography so I learned so much from Jerry the way he how organized he is and the way he speaks to a model you know it's very great how he is so mindful of how he talks to a model being a male the way he you know moves around a studio is it's definitely like something to learn from absolutely there's always one thing or multiple things that you can take away from a shoot this one in particular learning from Jerry, how he runs his business, mm -hmm. even though we didn't get the full scope, but yeah. just getting a few you know, pointers here and there. He's really confident. Yeah. He's not scatterbrained. He's, yeah. he's confident yeah. and organized both physically and mentally when running his business. Mm -hmm. And I think that was definitely something that I took, took away from the shoot. Yeah. I mean, after a couple days and after seeing, you know, the edits, I'm really happy with the way the series came out. I'm so impressed with not only Jerry, I'm impressed with the camera. And having this experience was such a pleasure and I'm extremely grateful. Yeah, so I'm very curious to see what the viewers' favorite episode is. Absolutely, and if you have any questions about the Nikon cameras, or really anything that had to do with this shoot, definitely drop those in the comments down below. Yeah, I'm Maria. I'm Matt. Thanks for watching.